Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. Um, you guys know I took, well, maybe you don't know, but I took a break from Destiny um, earlier this year. Um, kind of when um, the, the whole uh, season of the Joker, or whatever the heck it was called, came out. This was right around the time that the Division 2 came out because um, I really wanted to focus on the Division 2. I wanted to give it my full attention, really deep dive into that game, into that world, and really just understand it, its community, everything surrounding it. So I purposely took a break from Destiny 2 at the time because like I said I, I, I wanted to experience what is another game of the genre like what is its community like so that's exactly what I did um, had a great time with the division 2 I still play it I still love it you guys already know how I feel about some of the issues that it is currently having and the things that they're going to need to do to resolve it but this talk isn't about the division 2 it's about destiny 2 and the reason I brought up that I, I took a break is I, I've come back here in the past few the past few weeks and started playing again I've been doing a lot of catch up and, it, and it's been fun because there's been a lot of content that I missed out on and being able to jump back in it and play it ha has been great. So I say all that because Shadow Keep is coming on October 1st. It was delayed a couple weeks, which, hey, is a good thing. If a developer needs more time to polish a game, absolutely take the time that you need. So now Shadow Keep is coming October 1st. But uh, this week at Bungie, they kind of laid out their roadmap for information um, that we're going to get leading up to that. First and foremost, we're getting cross save. That is coming, I believe, on August 21st. And we're also going to um, get we're going to be able to get more information about switching over on the PC side, switching over from Battle.net over to Steam as well. Um, I'm excited for it because my plan is going to be as far as cross save goes, I'm going to take my PlayStation 4 save because that is the progress that I've had going all the way back to Destiny 1 and I'm going to use that, bring that over to PC and then obviously once Shadowkeep comes out and we migrate from uh, from Bnet over to Steam, I'll be doing that as well. But I'll be jumping back on PlayStation 4, potentially I'll, I'll jump on Xbox as well. But um. I'm, I'm excited for that because th this is getting closer to that dream of what I wanted Destiny to be to basically just play wherever you want. Wherever your friends are, you can go play there now. And eventually, we potentially could get actual cross play with that. But like I said, Bungie kind of laid out the roadmap here as we lead up to uh, October 1st. And the first thing on this is Shadow Keep. If, if, if you get Shadow Keep, all the DLC, everything, we're looking at 165 gigabytes of space that you're going to need on your PC or your console. It's getting huge, folks. It, it's, it's getting really big. And I know they've talked about this a little bit, but it runs into the interesting problem um, as they continue to add on worlds and new things. How much bigger can they make Destiny before they have to start cutting stuff off? Are we going to get into 200 gigs, 300 gigs that you have to have on there? So that's going to be a conscious decision on them. What are they going to do eventually to kind of curtail some of this? Because like I said, as it just keeps growing, I mean, the size that's going to be on your hard drive is going to grow as well. But like I said, they're going to do this roadmap. So the first thing I talked about is this director's cut coming from Luke Luke Smith, who I believe is like the franchise director now um, for Destiny. That that dude's career is just amazing to me. I just because I've known him forever. So it's just amazing to see where he is right now. It's just leading the entire franchise for Destiny. But anyways, he uh, tweeted about this, that he's going to have a part one and a part two where he's going to kind of talk about the last six months of Destiny 2. And then he's going to have a part two where that's probably going to get into more shadow keep and just the future of Destiny. But this part one is coming uh, this week where I believe he said it was 4,100 words, eight pages or something like that. It's going to be huge where he's really just going to talk about the last six months. Kind of, I'm, I'm assuming, just detailing where the fran the current state of the franchise, where it is, you know, in this part one. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, what they're also going to do this week, and that will be on August 14th at 10 a.m. They're going to do a live stream. Be I believe it's going to be on Twitch, Mixer, YouTube. Um, where they're going to talk about armor customization, a.k.a. Armor 2.0, or as they're calling the stream, building a better monster killing machine. I'm very excited for this because this is where I think Destiny, and I think this is just the first step into this. It's going to be a lot more, like a year from now, it's going to be way more detailed than what it's going to be here on October 1st. But Armor 2.0 is finally taking destiny and, and truly making it an rpg 
you know, this is the first step towards that because now it's not going to be relying solely on what gear drops for me. It's going to be about, sure, you're going to want a certain piece of gear to drop. Maybe it has uh, some kind of perk on it you might like, but the thing is, the gear is going to be more tailored towards the fashion show now versus actually the skills that you're going to get on the gear because they're introducing this mod system in here to where we're going to be able to customize our gear to our play style. You're going to have certain builds that you're going to be able to make now, depending on the encounters that you're doing. And it's going to get very intricate now. You're going to really just get in the lab now and being able to start to tinker with your gear and set it up to the way that you want to play. Not so much being dictated by how the armor drops and being forced to play a certain way to clear an objective. So I'm very excited for this because I, I'm, I'm telling you, this is the kind of stuff that I want to deep dive into. The Division 2 actually does some of this already, but but um, it looks like what Bungie's doing, he's going to deep dive even more so than what the Division 2 is doing right now. So, I'm, like I said, I'm very excited for it. Um, also, at Gamescom, they're going to detail or have more details uh, about Shadowkeep, which, hey, again, I'm going to be at Gamescom. So, uh, hopefully, I'll get a chance to sit down with those guys and uh, get some more information. Um, look, Deej, you promised me at E3 that I'm going to get an interview for uh, Shadowkeep. So, if it happens at Gamescom, great. If it does not, I'm sure we'll do something closer to launch, but I have a ton of questions <laughs> about Shadow Keep and just the way cross save is going to work, the way Destiny New New Light's going to work, you know, as far as all gear, everything. Um, I know I've been involved in some Twitter conversations the past couple of days with just just some of those kind of uh, you know housekeeping type questions where okay. And I'll just take this as an example. I know this is turning to Destiny Talk Radio, but that's fine. It's solo. I have nothing else to talk about. So here we go. Um, where as an example all right let's say i own forsaken i own shadow keep on playstation 4 and i'm i'm getting exotics i'm getting specific forsaken and shadow keep gear on playstation 4 i now have cross save i take that cross save i go to xbox i don't own anything on xbox so i literally just have destiny to new light and what new light is basically they're free to play it is literally year one of destiny is what it is you'll be able all that content will be free to you now and but you'll still be able to go to the new content but not do any of the actual end game activities or get those exotics things like that so the point i'm making is i take all my progress from playstation 4 where i've gotten new gear to drop exotics all that stuff i now go to xbox where i don't own anything sure i can't do the new raid i can't do some of the new activities but i own that gear am i able to use it on Destiny 2 New Light? Am I able to use it if I'm invited to something with my friends? Am I able to use all that gear? It sounds like you will, but again, these are more things that they need to clarify. And again, I'm sure these are the answers that'll be coming on their live streams and various interviews that, that they'll be doing. I know if I get to sit down and do an interview with them, that is gonna be one of my first questions is clarify how cross save is going to work. What do you need to own? If you don't own it, what are you still able to do? That's basically what it's going to come down to. So, you know, I'm sure there'll be some growing pains with this. There'll be, you know, be, be some uh, issues that will have to be ironed out when all this launches on October 1st. But this is absolutely the right step that they need to do. Um, the other thing on the roadmap is, like I said, cross save launch, which will be um, August 21st. <laughs> I'll be in Germany when it happens. So um, I'll, I'll actually miss day one when this goes down. So when I come back from Germany, I'll be able to actually take my progress over to PC as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they're also going to talk about how the seasons are going to change once once we go into year three. They're going to have a big PvP reveal for Shadowkeep, which I'm excited for because PvP needs a lot of TLC right now. They've really not given it the attention that it's needed over the past year. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen with that. I'm sure we're going to get new PvP maps that will take advantage of you know smaller fire teams because everything currently in Destiny 2 had been catered towards 4v4 play. We want to get away from just 4v4. I want to see more. I want to see Elimination come back, 3v3. Obviously, the 6v6 stuff, we need maps that actually can cater to that. Obviously, the weapon balancing needs to happen. Maybe there'll be some new PvP modes, etc. I'm not expecting trials on October, but hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll kind of get that roadmap towards bringing trials back at some point. So very excited that they're actually going to showcase PvP, which tells me that they got some stuff under the hood that they're going to be able to show. And then finally, um, they're going to actually 
show off some of this PvP, the Crucible stuff at PAX, which I will not be going to PAX, but excited for the people that that's going. So that that should be good as well. Really excited for that. Now, that's Destiny Talk Radio. I'm going to stop talking about Destiny. So before we get into the next topic, let's take a quick break. Let's get a word from our sponsor. 